The world of cycling is just about to get a hell of a lot less complicated. Welcome to the Global Cycling Network, or GCN. Subscribe now and your life will become complete. It's absolutely 100% free of charge. All you have to do is click on the button, which is right up here. We are streamlining cycling. There is a lot to bike racing, it's a complicated sport, and it's not just about the person that crosses the line first, it's about the team behind them. Innovations, training, technology, and everything else that goes with it. And we're not ignoring the rest of you, we're also going to be covering mountain biking, track racing, and BMXing. How are we going to do that? Is it even possible? Well, the first thing you need to do is remember the name, the Global Cycling Network. Not the Government Communications Network, but GCN, your brand new dedicated cycling channel on YouTube. And I promise I'll stop mentioning that soon, but don't hold me to that. It doesn't matter how long you've been into this sport of cycling, whether you've just started out like many other people at the moment, or if you've been an avid fan for your entire life, we've got something here for you. Actually, to scrap that, we have got a lot of things right here for you. We're going to be at all of the Grand Tours, capturing the gossip and the action from inside the peloton. Every week we're going to review the biggest stories in cycling and tell you about any of the latest sensational news. Not so long ago, I went along to the Change Cycling Now conference and got to catch up with Greg LeMond, who was not only enthusiastic about their new movement, but also, more importantly, enthusiastic about the Global Cycling Network. The goal here is to kind of you know, engage riders, the teams, hopefully the organizers. This is a big, uh, a big moment for cycling, and it's the time to change. I also had a quick coffee, as cyclists do, with Jonathan Tiernan Locke, who's had a sensational year this year, the first ever British winner of the Tour of Britain in its modern form. I also asked him about next year, now that he's joined the biggest team in professional cycling, Sky Pro Cycling. I think this year there's more emphasis on on volume of training, and I think. Some of that's to cope with, you know, the amount of race days I do, the length of races, and just to, just I think, just to develop your engine so you recover better in between. And you know, when you're backing up stage race after stage race, and I don't think you get away with 12 hours a week. We've also been lucky enough to catch up with none other than David Walsh, who's just been voted Journalist of the Year and Sports Journalist of the Year by his colleagues in the industry. He gave us a few moments of his time amongst some distinguished guests, some more special than the others, and talked a lot about this man, Lance Armstrong. He's been a massive part of David's life as a journalist and who features strongly in his latest book, The Seven Deadly Sins. I have to say, I always felt he was too big to be toppled. If you said to me, did you see the end coming as it came? No, I didn't. I absolutely didn't. Oh. I've just done another turbo session. Actually, that was one of the standout moments for me a couple of weeks ago. Somebody persuaded me that I could dress up in this and that I'd look all right and pull it off, so to speak. Anyway, you can follow along to the videos too. We've got some of some glamorous ladies, in fact, two videos for you on spinning bikes. And we've got a couple of videos with some professional riders and some ex-professional riders on some turbo trainers. Quick recap then, it's called the Global Cycling Network. GCN, it's got more characters than Twitter. All you need to do is subscribe now. It's absolutely free of charge. We're going to be previewing a lot of the key stages of all three of the Grand Tours. You might have seen me do some of them already last year. It's a great way of seeing what's gonna face you if you decided to tackle one of those stages or even the attack du tour. One thing to consider for today's stage is it does come after a rest day. Sometimes it can be difficult to tell exactly how your body and your legs are going to respond. Whether you're new to cycling or you simply want to improve, we've got a whole host of how to do it like a pro tutorial videos. Everything from how to pack a bike box, or how to look cool on the bike, how to do a track stand. There's something for everyone here at the Global Cycling Network. We have got a triple A pass, access all areas. We know how important all the behind the scenes gossip, news and views is to you. And to help us deliver it, we've got the following guys on board. Oh, and me. And now I'm going to bring you the news. 
Sorry about that, I just needed to change the set quickly so that I can bring you the latest news from the world of cycling. I've got a few magazines here, some British, some American, and some from Europe. And I've picked out some bits which I found interesting. The first of which is the new Shimano Dura Ace 11 speed. Previously it's been 10 speed for around about the last six, seven, probably eight years. It's not cheap, and in fact, at 1,978 grams, you're gonna be paying around about one pound per gram. Other news, this man has been in it all year and he continues to be so, he's all over the magazines. Tour de France winner, Olympic time trial champion and winner of the BBC Sports Personality of the Year. And his latest accomplishment is, of course, his recent knighthood. Hello, Sir Brad, and not forgetting his boss, Sir David Brailsford. He's also in a post spotty interview said that he wants to not only win the Giro d'Italia next year which we already knew but defend his Tour de France crown. Previously he said he's going to be working for Chris Froome who obviously worked for him so much this year so it's quite an interesting development in the Bradley Wiggins story. Something else which has come up recently which is not yet even in the magazines but very recent news is the fact that the Tour de France is coming back to Britain so us Brits are very excited about that. Three stages, the first of which is going to be in Yorkshire and the last of which is going to be in London, finishing on the same finish actually as the Olympics this year on the Mall. Even professional cyclists can't ignore the festive period of Christmas and New Year and I especially can't ignore it because I've been given these stupid props to use in this film. Anyway, as a belated festive treat for you, we've got a couple of videos including top 10 New Year's resolutions and top 10 how to lose weight. I wonder what this is. Riding can be such a social thing. Hooking up with a group will also keep you motivated. Eat more on the bike and less off it. Fueling less on the bike can mean that you need to pig out when you get home. How much is all this going to cost you? Absolutely nothing. Zero. Zilch. All of this amazing content is going to be completely free of charge. No fees, no catches, no small print. All you need to do is subscribe now. Have fun, thanks very much for watching and don't forget to add your comments down below.